Right, so this time I'm starting where I left off last time. I have my brick wall which has a nice little text drawn to it. And now what we will do is we will apply some basic lighting to this. Or lighting rather. <laughs> um, the thing is, right now it's there and you can do stuff to it, but it doesn't look all that great, to be honest. So, we will start first of all. Okay, good. First of all, we will need light. So, I already declared a vector 3 for the light direction. We will be using a directional light for this because it's easy. As you can see, I already assigned a value. This value is probably not very good. So let's see. I will do this and then I will normalize this. Okay. Then the next thing that we will do is we will set a parameter in our shader. I have been working a bit with the shader so you can see there's a lot more stuff. What we care about is this, the light direction. And we will set it the same way we set all the other parameters before. So it's light direction. Okay. And then we will draw the texture if I started and now you wouldn't see a difference. And what we will need is we need to know what the normal is in our pixel shader. So we will change this bit. So we had this with the normal and we will pass this as text code one. You cannot pass normals to the pixel shader, at least not like with the semantics for it. Ignore this function, we will need it in the next video. For now, here is our vertex shader function. At the moment, all it does is it calculates the new position and uh, gives the text coordinates through. So now we need to add the normal and that will be the input normal transformed by the world matrix because if we rotate or anything really we want the normal to rotate as well otherwise it would look really weird and in our texture shader we do now know the normal and the light direction so how do we calculate the lighting i will draw some stuff here imagine this line and now we have oh okay and now we have light coming from this side for example okay then um the light will be what oh, oh cool <laughs> didn't know that um then if our I is looking in this direction and so we have the same angle here and here it will be brightest but this this is called a specular light or lighting you know, and it that will also require that we calculate the direction in which our eye looks at this. So we will do this when we do normal mapping. But for now, what we will do is just this part. We will look at how does the light, um, yeah, in in which how how directly does the light fall onto our surface and for that we have the normal 
which <laughs> looks a bit strange here. And we will uh, use the dot product of the normal and the light direction. Um, what the dot product is, is let's say this is one of the components and this is the other one. And if they are both normalized, it will be like a projection from one line to the other. So if I had these two vectors and the vectors had both length one, what would happen is the dot product of the two would be this length, which is useful because if we apply the same thing here, let's say, let's say a vector with length one starts here, then because the light doesn't fall directly on the surface, we would only have about half the strength of light that we would have if it fell directly in this direction. So we go into the texture, uh, into the pixel shader, and we already have the result color, but now we will um, calculate the amount of light that falls onto our surface. And we will do that by multiplying float light intensity equals the dot product of input dot normal and light direction. And then we could just do this, return light intensity times result color. This will work and I will show to you what this does. But as, I, as you can see, if we turn this around, it gets brighter or darker, which is what we want. But it's not, <laughs> it's not exactly beautiful that it completely vanishes here, right? So I would say we use, um, do I have it defined? Okay, we use the ambient color that's defined here. And what we will do is we will say float ambient color equals, oh, I should just call this color result colors kind of wrong now, right? Okay, so this <sighs> color and this is color um, pff, uh, let's say light intensity color times light intensity plus ambient color and then we multiply two colors and this should look a bit better if it worked <laughs> see what's the error uh, oh yeah this has to be a float for of course now it's wrong here oh <laughs> it, I used the same name so let's do this okay now does it work it looks, ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, you had it the wrong way around. So this is complete darkness basically. And this is how it looks when it's a bit brighter. You can see it, the color, or it gets darker if we turn a bit, but it's all right so far. So this is really dark. This is brighter, brighter, brighter. And this is as bright as it gets basically. Okay, so this is really, really basic lighting, and I will make a video on normal mapping next, which has more complex lighting in it. So see you then. Oh, I, <laughs> I closed the wrong thing.